parents now. I'm just kidding, it's all good. Um, yeah, they are, they're cool though, they're fun shows, man. It's been, it's been a real joy because uh, not only will we be able to take a break, you know, and give the bodies a second to heal from the big stage and all that too, but as we were doing these kind of shows and I was really thinking about the songs and which ones we were gonna do and kind of dive down that rabbit hole a little more deeply and even play some of our favorite songs from our childhood when we were growing up. Um, it really got me thinking about music, you know, and how important it really is. Because when you think about it, music is really nothing more than the soundtrack to our lives, right? I mean, it's been there our entire life. And it's such a special thing. It's probably one of the only things I know that is that powerful that you can literally hear a song one of your favorite songs, and it can bring you right back to that time and place where you first heard that song, right? It's amazing. And I don't know many things in the world that can do that. Actually, I don't know anything that really does that. Not only bring you back to that time and place, but make you feel the feelings and just in detail, really, you know, be back in that moment. I think scent is maybe the only other thing that I know of that you can smell something and it can bring you those memories and those feelings that you have when you are growing up or whatever it was. Music does that for me. And I remember sitting on the tour bus one year, <clears throat> way back when, when I was um, writing a book, and I got to this part of the book where I was talking about music and like how powerful it is and what a gift it really is. And I'm sitting there with a buddy and we're enjoying a bottle of wine. And, um, and as we got kind of into the conversation, <clears throat> the song came on by uh, the Mamas and the Papas called California Dreamin'. You guys know this song? Some of you may not, you might be a little bit young, but I think a lot of you may know this song. All the leaves are bright, all the leaves are bright, and the sky is great. So this song comes on the radio, and uh, and I remember getting like feeling heavy, it was like emotional, and I'm thinking, why does it do that? Like, why is it doing that to me? I don't have a connection to this song. And uh, I asked most people, I'm like, what do you think it is about music? that really brings us to that place and makes us feel emotional like this. And you know, a lot of people will answer, well, obviously, it's the lyrics, right? These lyrics kind of connected to me in my life and translates to something that happened to me and I really connect with those lyrics. And I'm like, okay, well, fair enough, but why is it we can go watch a violin player play all by herself and it can literally bring you to tears, right? This is, of course, now with two bottles of wine into the fucking conversation, so we're really going down the rabbit hole here, you know? And I'm going like, wow, this is fucked up. I mean, it's really, it's really an anomaly. Like, music is this universal language that we all connect to in our own special way. But it's really nothing more than a series of notes, right? That's all it is. If you think about it, whether it's a bass drum, whether it's a guitar string, whether it's a piano, whether it's your vocal cords, it's really just it's making notes, right? But a note is nothing more than a frequency. And a frequency, if you wanna keep breaking it down, is nothing more than a simple vibration. That's it. So if I have something tight, I pull a string really tight, it'll make a higher sound. If I loosen it a little bit, it's a little thicker, it'll make a lower sound, right? That's how vibrations work, and vibrations create frequencies that give us these tones. So my question is, why? If music is nothing more than simple vibrations, why does it affect us emotionally when it comes in contact with our body? That, to me, is the anomaly of music. That is the true gift of music. And that is why I love music so much. And I don't know if we're ever gonna figure that out. If these are nothing more than just strings and things vibrating, and yet it comes in contact with our body and it creates emotion, that's a fucking, and same miracle to me, right? There's only a couple things that blow my fucking mind in this world. One of them is the thought of anything that goes forever, like space. You fucking kidding me? You can like shoot off the planet in any direction and just go, you don't even have to take a left or just straight forever and it never ends? Really? Ever. Do you know how long forever is? It's a long fucking time. You don't hit a wall at some point, fall off the fucking universe, something, nothing, just go, you just go straight and you, that's it? Numbers? How's that one? I want to know the biggest number right now. 
You can't. You just add one to it. Fuck you. That's fucking crazy. I want to know what it is. There's gotta be what there's gotta be a number where it just stops. I'm like, no, you can just add one to it. That's like so here we go, right? These are the things that are inside the crazy mind of Sully Earn. I'm letting you in, little sneak peek. Here. But music is one of those things, man. It's this crazy... So I'll give you an example. If I play what we call an E major chord. Right? Just remember, these are vibrations. It's kind of light sounding, right? Happy. All I'm gonna do is change the position of my fingers and tighten up the vibrations. It's kind of sad sounding, right? Right? It's sad. But why? Why are these vibrations sad to us? And these are happy. Why couldn't this be the happy one? This would be like a bummer. I don't know who made these rules. Maybe it's God, I'm not sure. He's definitely not here tonight because I definitely need to have a few words with him about the last couple years of my fucking life. <laughs> but I will say, this is one of those things that blows my mind because if I sit here and I think about music like that, this is why I'm saying before we leave here tonight, I think you guys are gonna hear and feel music a little differently. If I try to just pluck these strings in any random order, they don't make any sense, right? There's no connection to you. If I just stop changing the pattern a little bit, it starts making sense, right? Brings you back to that time and place when you first heard the song. Oh, no, the song?